Hey, Weight Loss Warriors. It's been five weeks since my revision surgery, and frankly, I'm tired. We'll talk in a minute. Thanks for tuning in again to the Working Girls Guide to Weight Loss Surgery. Be sure to follow me on all of my channels. Uh, hit the notification button, the little bell on YouTube so that you can get my videos first before they're even posted to my uh, WordPress blog. So, like I said, I'm tired. I, I came back to work after two weeks and knew very early on that that was a mistake. Um, I was back to work after my sleeve in 10 days, so I thought I'd be okay with two weeks, but I completely underestimated how much pain I would be in um, from the hernia repair and the revision surgery. And, you know, generally when I've had surgeries before by week three, I'm, you know, pretty tired. I think, you know, the shock of surgeries kind of wears off on you. So I anticipated being tired at week three and it really wasn't too bad I was it was a little overwhelming at times trying to get my fluids in and focus on my protein but really um, four and a half weeks out uh, into my fifth week here and I'm really tired I'm getting like nine hours of sleep and um, I'm pretty exhausted I'm, I'm doing good about my vitamins so I know that's not the issue but um, I'm, I'm noticeably tired. Um, I do see my surgeon next week. I don't know if I'm due for some blood work or, or what have you, but, um, yeah, I'm tired. So, um, we'll talk numbers. So at the start of my pre-op diet, I weighed in at, I think, 208.8. Start of surgery was, uh, 170, 170, I wish, 197.6. And my weigh-in um, this Monday of uh, week five was, I think, 191.2. I think the total, oh, I can't remember. The total, the total loss since the surgery, I believe, is 6.4. So if that, that sounds about right, yeah, 191.2. So 6.4 since the surgery. Um, I think that's close to 18 pounds or something um, since the start of the the uh, journey for the pre-op and, and beyond and I, I'm disappointed I'm a little disappointed I thought I would uh, be down a little more than that you know I keep I, I'm gonna stay off of these these uh, revision blogs uh, uh, groups because it's really it's really frustrating I kind of talked about that in the last video but um, I'd love to have seen a little more progress I am starting I think to uh, get the, the scale moving I'm back on my hormone replacement therapy and I started moving. I signed up for a Denise Austin four week walking challenge and it's free. You can go to her site, you can Google uh, Denise Austin walking challenge and it'll come up. It just started uh, Monday, September 30th. So um, you still have time to, to sign up and get her tips. Uh, she does have the free component. You don't have to pay for the you know extra member benefits or whatever she's advertising. And basically it's just 30 minutes of walking every day. She's giving you some other tips that she'll email you. and It's just something to follow and stay motivated and get moving. I, I went and walked with my daughter and my granddaughter yesterday. We got 30 minutes in and uh, I walked today at work. I broke it up in the 15 minute intervals. And um, you know, I just took a slow pace. I'm not trying to hurry up. I'm not pushing myself to go a fast pace. I think it took me I think I, the first quarter mile that I walked, it took me like eight minutes, which is, you know, several minutes less than what it normally would take me. So that's fine. I um, I met my step goal. I reduced my step goal down to, I think, 5,000 steps a day while I'm trying to recover. And um, I know other people are really pushing themselves and doing a lot more after revision surgery, which is fabulous. I applaud all of you. Me, I'm tired. I'm not going to push myself. <laughs> I, but I am gonna move so I've, I've made that commitment so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that 
Um, struggling with the water that's probably impacting the weight loss. Um, protein, I'm doing so so, but it, I'm finding that. I'm starting to get some restriction back. Um, a lot of people were who had the sleeve to to bypass were were uh, expressing their concerns that they didn't have the restriction that you have with the sleeve. And a lot of people say, "Just wait for it. It'll happen. It'll happen with the bypass." And it seems like it might be happening now for me. I'll take a couple of bites and um, start getting indications that I'm full. Um, but I, at, at different points, I'm having trouble with water. Uh, if it's too cold, I like cold water, but it seems to be the cold water that is causing me problems. So um, it, it's what I experienced that very first day after the surgery. I, I'll take a sip and I, I almost have to burp just to get it to clear. And the surgeon had said before he was a little concerned about it because he thought it might have been that the diaphragm was, was too tight from the surgery. He said he purposely made it tight but he was hoping it wasn't um, too tight. So by the second day or so, it, it had gone away and I didn't have any additional um, signs of it. So I thought, and he thought we were all right, but I've, I've noticed that for the last several days when I'm drinking cold water, not necessarily if I'm drinking um, cooler water. So that just might be what I need to do in the interim. I'm praying and hoping that it's not some signs of, of reflux um, returning or have never truly gone away. So um, I think that's it for now. And uh, I wish everybody a happy fall day. And um, yeah, so we'll talk soon. Bye.